eyes when you're having fun. That's why my time here at Russell Street feels really short. How about I tell you how my own journey began here at RSS? I was so shy when I first walked into school. I held my mum's hand all the way to my new class. When I walked through the door, I met my new teachers, Robin and Sandy, went down to that to start the day. And later that year, I learned the foundations of learning, reading, writing and maths. And I discovered that I was actually pretty good at maths. And I got to see the class I was going into next year. It's year two, and I just walked into my new class and met my new teachers, Ebony and Julie. They told me a lot about maths, and also, they, uh, I, got to, I got a blog to share with my friend Taylor. I was so excited. I also got to learn how to make a podcast to put on my blog. Later that year, my class got to make um, toy boats that we got to sell in the school pool. I made mine out of air filled bottles and just stuck a sail on it. Lucky for me, it was a windy day. <laughs> and late, even later that year, we had a school production. It, we did arts on Rainbow Fish, the book, and I was a shark. Next year, I was in Joy's class. I was bummed. My sister said that she was so mean, but when I got to know her, she filled me with joy. <laughs> that year I learned science and how the time didn't divide. I got to do ICAS and I got a distinction in a year 4 test. And I also started Kapaka. It was so fun. And also, my class got to play the program called B Robots called B Robots. They were the highlight of my year until I heard about CO2 cars. It's a little bottle with cars that you get to carve and make yourself, then paint and raise power by CO2. It's year four. My teacher's Rosie. She's so nice. And I think she's will be the best teacher she's ever taught me. She taught me about algorithms and advanced division. And times tables again. We also got to play games like Free Amigos. People would always ask me to be on their team and face the smart people, such as Scott and Amen and Morgan. A few months later, we had another production. This time, we got to do whatever my teachers want. We did it on a Maori legend. I got to be a warrior. <laughs> there is something that I didn't tell you about, and I just had to put in. Thanks to Suzanne, I got to enter Minority Regional School Science and Technology Competition, and I got came first in the primary school division. And taking it out with my Mega Mad Cat Eater. At the end of the year, I wondered who my next teacher would be. What do you know? My teacher's Rosie again. It's going to be a fun year. Well, at least an okay year if everything goes planned. Well, it's going to be great. We are going on a class camping trip. Yay. And I heard we're going to be doing CO2 cards again. Uh, also, a gang of three amigo champs has formed Molly, Eamon and Scott. No one could stop him. I made a pretty good dent, but I could never beat all three in a turn. And finally, we got to do CO2 class and a new subject, good seat table, where we get to cook, plant, and learn science. I was good at the cooking and science, but I sucked at planting, because I never wore shoes, no matter what. So I had to set out the type. It was so boring. And on to the next chapter. It's year six. I'm one of the oldest people in school. And that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Also, on a less important note, my teacher's name. He's and stuff like that. <coughs> and now onto the cool stuff. We are going on a Madara trip. There's a dance production and I'm leaving school. Okay. So first to come is the Marai trip. It is real fun. The food's good, the beds are awesome, and the fact and the fact that I got to teach little kids the haka and stuff. That was awesome. And the next big event is the dance production. We danced into the power of love and it was really fun. The other event hasn't happened yet. So, farewell.